are back for some extra fat joy. I have 10 questions for Kelsey O. Daniels. All right, Kelsey, you ready for 10 questions? I think so. (laughs) Okay, cool. All right, first question is, um, and this is always fun to ask writers and poets, um, if your past week was a chapter of a book, or in your case, perhaps a poem, what would the title be? What would it be called? I'm just getting back from New Orleans. I was there for a two-week like residency. And um the week was very interesting and like I had some beautiful moments of like showing up and doing cool art stuff and also navigating like my rental car was stolen. Uh like so it's like it's very much like yes and like of like show up and surrender. I think that's it. Show up and surrender. Show up and surrender. Oh God, your rental car was stolen. I can't even imagine the hassle, the logistics, the horror of that. Yeah. But like I said, the greater context of things is I feel like it, it, it also like caused me to be in community with people. And like, there are people who showed up for me that I had just met, like, who like offered to give me rides places and like do things. And so like, there was, you know, like I, I surrendered and I showed up and other people showed up for me. God, I love it. I love it so much. Thanks, Kelsey. All right. Next question is, what is one thing that you own that you really should throw out? I have across like several storage spaces and like, I just have like art supplies that are duplicated. Like, <laughs> and it's like I probably should go out and evaluate like okay like maybe this paint can be thrown away because you have other paint like you don't have to hold on to like this dried out bottle of paint uh, like, <laughs> scarcity <laughs> I, right I get that my husband's an artist and every now and then we'll pull down a box and I'm like do you really need like like literally like a, like it's dried out it's cracked it's basically rubber at this point but it's like and I was like do you need all these paintbrushes like are you ever going to use them? like it's very there's something about the 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 sentiment the connection to memory the nostalgia for him I don't know but there is something about like artists and their tools for sure mm-hmm. yeah what is the most used app on your phone unfortunately Instagram yeah <laughs> working on it <laughs> <laughs> what do you want it to be what do you have an aspirational most used app um well okay my notes app i feel like i use my notes app uh it's a close second uh and so i think what i want it to be is probably my phone is in my hand a lot less yeah yeah <laughs> just overall yep yep um what is your favorite smell Mm, the smell of rain on concrete which i learned as a word for but i can't remember what it is but like that smell like time travels me back to like childhood yeah i think the word is petrichor yeah yeah i don't know why i know that word but someone told it to me once and said that Petra means rock and Icor means the blood of gods. So there, that image of like rain on pavement, that smell is like the blood of gods emerging from rocks. And I just, that has stuck with me for like years now. It was intense. Right? <laughs> I know. It's like, that. that is, that's a pretty intense smell. Like the earth's blood, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Petrichor. Do you have a favorite word? I have a favorite phrase that I say a million times, uh, which is yes and. Actually, no, no, no. Dancery. I say dancery a lot, um, which is like Mary J. Blige. Um, like, <laughs> family affair. But I, I'm constantly referencing my dancery and what isn't is not allowed in it. Yeah. <laughs> I I love the gatekeeping around my dancery. <laughs> what's allowed, what's not allowed. So good. Um, do you have a least favorite word? Biological woman. <laughs> like the phrase, I, like I, there's just been a lot of like anything alluding to 
binaries and cis people losing their minds. Um, yeah. Yeah. Biological woman. Yep. Uh, what scares you? I am scared of snakes. Yeah. Yeah. But also fascinated. I love the reptile center at zoos. Um, but I'm terrified of meeting them in the wild. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. What would you tell your younger self? Uh, you're on to something amazing. Ooh. I, I think that my younger self was really um, aware of a lot of like things about how the world worked. And then that was kind of like broken out of like, you know, like she was conditioned into a lot of uh, things. But I think like at her core, she understood like all this shit is bullshit. Um, <laughs> and I'm very grateful for her, her, her thought leadership, <laughs> you know. Oh, I love her. And like, I can just imagine the burden of being able to see through and then being gaslit you're wrong yeah Oof. what is one of your big dreams one of my big dreams is to have a healing dream ranch um that uh folks who've experienced the the violence of this world and especially centering black fat disabled queer folks you know all the you know these identities that i hold um, being able to come and like deeply rest and connect with themselves and dream and create um, and take the overflow of that back to their communities. Um, but also if they don't take anything back but a rejuvenated self, like that is the work. Right. Oh, I can picture that completely. All right, everyone who's listening, breathe into that dream with Kelsey, please. Let's put some collective energy behind it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, last question. If you had a billboard on the side of a really busy highway where tens of thousands would see it every day, what would you put on that billboard? Dream bigger. Dream bigger. Oof. Yes, yes. Brilliant. Kelsey, thank you for answering the 10 questions. Thank you.